Hello fellow pipers, Relax Piper here. Yeah. Here's another video. In my previous video, I talked to in the process of restoring some of my uh, acquired estate pipes. And I wanted to do a video where I collectively show the supplies that I'm using to do a basic restoration of my vintage pipes. And I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys uh, some of the things that I'm using and the supplies. Uh, so you'll have a reference video for uh, just daily cleaning supplies as well as supplies I'm using for a basic uh, restoration. So I just thought I'd do a quick video. And here are the three pipes that I spoke to. These are vintage pipes that I've acquired on eBay. And I have several videos and reviews of these videos of some really nice vintage pipes that you can find on eBay. And if you want more information, check out those videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider it, as well as maybe hitting the bell notification for future content. So yeah, today I'm gonna be restoring these three pipes and look for future videos on the before and after. But this video is focusing on what I'm using to restore pipes. So. I'm just going to share with you quickly uh, just some of the basic things uh, for daily cleaning uh, that you'll need as well as some more advanced things for basic restoration. So the one thing everybody needs are pipe cleaners. Yeah, lots and lots of pipe cleaners. I don't particularly like to use the wired ones that uh, have bristles. Um, stay away from those. Those can scratch the briar pretty easily. And I found an alternative I think will work much better than the bristled. Uh, pipe cleaners. So I like to use the soft. Uh, this particular brand is uh, Long's Extra Absorbent Pipe Cleaners. And so far these have worked really well for me for uh, just basic cleaning. So there's that. Another thing that I use uh, for my pipe cleaning is just some basic vodka some grain alcohol that you want to use to clean the inside of the bowl and particularly the shank. Uh, I don't like to get any uh, anything in the actual bowl, but I do like to use uh, a grain alcohol for cleaning the stem as well as the shank inside the shank. So yeah, there's that. That's typically what I use for just daily cleaning. Although I don't do a lot of cleaning until I start having problems with the pipe, but and then uh, some just basic supplies to use for those of you who have uh, stems. Um, yeah, this is for uh, vulcanite stems. And I really like to use this for the vulcanite. I, now I've gotten rid of a lot of my vulcanite stems and I've gone to acrylic. Uh, require far less maintenance um, of the acrylic, but they are harder and a lot of people don't like acrylic. so. For my vulcanite stems, I use this obsidian uh, pipe stem oil, which keeps them from discoloring and uh, getting kind of rustic looking brown. So that's what I use for that. And then uh, after uh, deep cleaning or um, restoring my pipes, at the end, of course, I'll let them dry out very well. And a lot of times I will use a little bit, uh, a small drop of um, extra virgin oil. And just very, very little to coat the pipe after I've cleaned it deeply. And I will get into more of the deep cleaning uh, supplies. But this, uh, this stuff will come at the very end of your cleaning process. And I like to use this Halcyon. Uh, they make two different types, one for the rustic pipes and... There's the name for that one. It's supposed to be a very good product. After I use one little drop of olive oil, I will go back, let it dry, and then put a final coat of wax on it. And this is another Paragon wax. This is for the smooth, and these are supposed to be very high grade waxes and high temperature waxes for, um, for pipes. A lot of people do like uh, the Decatur Pipe Shield, uh, which is a no buff wax. And this is very uh, highly used in the pipe community as well. And another great wax. 
wax. So try to get these positioned where you can kind of see them a little bit. And it took me a little while to get all these supplies. And yeah, it's not something you have to get it all at one time, but um, for a little bit of the deeper cleaning, um, I do, uh, again, back to the pipe cleaners, I do like to use um, these very small brushes. They're a very fine, soft brush that I got on Amazon uh, to help clean um, the shank. And they come in various sizes and just a really soft nylon that I like to use to scrub out the uh, shank of the pipe. And I prefer these far uh, more uh, than say a um, bristled pipe cleaner. So there's that. And some of the tools um, that I like to use to ream the pipe is this uh, reaming tool. Um, just a great, uh, and I have used this for a, a couple times already. And this is a just a great reaming tool. And it's not great for the really small pipes or the small, um, but it does have a nice uh, drill to, to get any obstructions out of the shank hole. And it comes with that tool. So it's kind of two, two in one uh, tool. And this was worked really well for getting the carbon out of the pipe. Use it a couple times. Of course, you gotta be really careful with um, these pipe reamers. You don't wanna really start gouging into the briar. Uh, you just wanna do a little bit at a time. If you don't have the money to spend on that, another um, tool is just, a, this is a case knife that I have, and I like to use just a, a kind of more or less a rounded blade, and just kind of scrape, um, kind of lightly scrape uh, the inside of the bowl out, uh, not tearing into the briar. So another little tool. And now into the more deep cleaning supplies that I'm using. I did get uh, small uh, corks and I'm gonna use these to cork up uh, the bowl as well as the shank. I got a few small ones that I can use for the shank. And, and that, the reason for that is I don't want to get um, it's another product that I'm using to clean the outside of the bowl. And that is after I use some 90 proof and some paper towels to really um, get some of the wax off of the outside of the bowl so that that uh, oil soap can get into the into the briar and start getting it clean. So I'm gonna wipe it down really well uh, with some 90 proof um, alcohol. And then eventually I will get it stripped down enough to start cleaning it with some Murphy's um, oil soap. I guess this works really well. I've not tried this yet and I will cork it up and start scrubbing it down with a soft toothbrush uh, with some of this uh, Murphy's oil. Now there is a difference. This is the newer stuff. Um, I did manage to get some of the older stuff, which a lot of people like, and this one will say oil soap on it. And this is some really old stuff um, that I got from my, actually from my grandmother. <laughs> and they don't make this version of it anymore. Um, so yeah, if you can find it, it supposedly works a little bit better than the current stuff today. So anyway, either one probably work well for you. And then <clears throat> while I'm scrubbing it <clears throat> to get a lot of the, um, the rim clean, um, recommend using a very light abrasive. Uh, this super eraser. So, yep, you're going to use this to, um, to get some of the lava off the top of the bowl rim. And, uh, yeah. 
So there's a quick um, rundown of the supplies I'm using and some of the things that you'll need to do a little bit deeper cleaning of your pipes. Anyway, just want to do a quick collect video of some of the supplies you'll need to do a basic restoration of your pipes. And one more thing I wanted to add to this, and that is uh, what they call micro pads. These are some micro sanding pads that you can get. Uh, I got these off of Amazon. And they go all the way from, let's see here real quick. They're very, very fine sanding pads, uh, which go from a thousand, three thousand. So these are really good for cleaning up the stems and reconditioning uh, vulcanite stems, along with some OxyClean. So this video really isn't intended to go through the entire process of the cleaning. These are just some cleaning supplies uh, that you'll be using uh, for basic restoration of your pipes, guys. So, hope you got something out of the video. Again, if you like the video, maybe consider thumbing it up. Gets me to want to make more content like this. And, yeah, hopefully that helps you guys. And if you have anything else you'd like to add to some basic supplies that I have not considered here. I would appreciate it if you'd leave it down in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and perhaps I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.